Today on the Biz Talk, we have a special guest, Young Nails UK mentor Monica Then. We're going to talk about fear of posting <laughs> on social media because this is something that she had to kind of push through and had insane results. We're going to talk about all of this right now on the Biz Talk. Monica, thank you for joining us today. I know it's a little insane here. We have been pulling equipment out left and right. It's a com- What you don't see is that it's a complete disaster behind the scenes. Am I right or am I wrong? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> she literally looked at us and she was like, how do you guys travel with all this equipment? It's insane. And then Tracy and I were like, this is actually nothing. It's 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 not a lot compared to what we normally do. Um, so fear of posting on social media, this is something we actually talked about this morning. I had kind of a session with the mentors, the UK mentors, um, and one of the mentors in particular actually um, was asking me about posting, you know, uh, having a fear of posting. I was talking to her about like you got to do more video, which is what you and I talked about a year yeah. ago, right? Yeah. Um, and she, she was like, and this is this is not just her. It's it's everybody has this fear. They don't want to put out content. They're scared. Um, they don't like something about what they're doing. One year ago, I had a conversation with Monica about Instagram, and I was telling her video is hot right now like get on video and just start posting and i swear to god normally when i say that i don't expect somebody to do it (laughs) yet you went on a rampage and we just started seeing video after video after video so i just want to kind of like go through this process because that's a hard step for a lot of people to take you know like to just start putting content out on their page what was it like for you? Were you scared? Of course. Yeah. The first video to actually post, it took me five hours to work on it. It took you five hours? Five hours. hours, And I was still thinking it's not good enough. But I did it. I just posted. (laughs) So interesting. Okay. So when you say it took you five hours, you're talking about shooting it, editing it. Yeah. All of that, what you need to do before you're going to... Now I can do it in a few minutes, but yeah, it was in the five beginning. hours to kind of work it out. What is what? How do you put these things together? How do you remove the voice if you don't want it there? Right. Or put you know music I mean? if you want to add music yeah, to it. if you want to add music on it, or if you want to make it shorter or speed up some parts. Yeah. It was just everything new for me. Yeah, so you, how did you learn? Did you go onto YouTube and say how to create a video? Like, um, what was the process here? I just tested a few of the apps which I've downloaded and took me, probably my daughter could do it faster, but <laughs> <laughs> it was everything new. So okay, I yeah, did sure. go on YouTube as well, watch what people do. I was watching what are you guys doing, sure. trying to see if I can do similar things. And yeah, basically everything from scratch, starting from zero. From zero, yeah. So what piece of equipment, let's start with this. What piece of equipment did you use to start posting videos? My phone. Okay. Only. Okay. Let me back up one, one step further first, because I think this is something that's really interesting. Just so you know, it took Monica, first of all, two years. You went from zero followers to about 2,000 in two, two years, years, right? Yeah. And then this last year from from her starting posting and getting aggressive, she went. You went from two thousand, and you're almost at twenty thousand now, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's eighteen thousand followers in a year. That is a massive. Going from two to twenty is a massive jump. So it just it went crazy. So I, I want to say that because I want you to have a reference of like what what she accomplished. You know, like in in terms of like followers, things happened. Her Instagram account really kind of blew up and and went crazy. So I just want to put that out there. Okay. So you just used your phone. That was your basic piece of equipment. Yeah. And were you like, 
initially thinking I need to get a whole camera set up or were you just like, I just got to start doing this? No, I just need to start doing this. No. Yeah. yeah. Literally no. <laughs> like need to get home and doing it. Oh my God. You are my favorite person in the whole world because that is exactly what you have to do. It's, it is that it's extremely hard, but it's that simple, it right? It's simple. Yeah. It's that simple. It's, you just got to start doing it. So you grabbed your phone, it took you five hours. How long did it take you? Were you like staring at it before you hit the post button or you just like let it rip? No, I just knew it. I need to post it something first and see if it's working or not. And I did it after five hours working on it. I just posted <laughs> and it worked. So I said like, okay, I need to do it again and again yeah. and again. But yeah, on the beginning when I've started Instagram or any social media, my posting was like, I'm just going to do it today and maybe tomorrow, maybe two or three times a week. Yeah. And that doesn't work. It needs to be there all the time. So right. I think you need to be super organized and just get your extra time to do your social media yeah. as is part of my work. Yeah, that's a great mentality. Um, and I can completely relate with you because that's exactly how we go about it at Young Nails. It is a very important piece of um, our our work you know it's not just manufacturing nail products obviously that's huge but it's literally as important as shipping products out the door are for us uh social media and creating content is also extremely a huge part of our business because that's marketing that's what we do so okay so you went home i'm gonna do this now <laughs> God, you don't know how much I love that. I'm, I'm serious. Like, I'm going to tell this story. I'm glad we're, we're doing a podcast on this because I can reference this video to people. Go watch this because this is what she did with her phone. Just like, and, and you, you executed on it. So you did that. When was the next time you did another video? Was it like maybe? Next day. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So how long did it take you to do this video? Um, shorter, definitely. <laughs> Don't remember exactly uh, how much time. But my whole thing was like, what are I going to record? What are I going to do it? Yeah. Who is coming today? Who is my client? Right. What can I record? But actually, it's just like good lesson from you. If we have any good information for people to give it to them, it doesn't matter what is it. Doesn't need to be super complicated because right. that's what I was thinking right. long time ago. Like I can't really record any video because that will take me forever. I need to think how creative I need to be. What needs to be there? But it's a lot of people which they want to do just the basic, and yeah. the very simple stuff. But and I think that how it works. Yeah. So so basically creating content what you're what you're ultimately saying is like through this experience of of posting like it's it's just putting out good solid information no matter how simple it might be yeah correct like you don't have to like let me sculpt out this amazing set of three inch stilettos with marbleizing ombres and 3D flowers, 3D flowers yeah. right? It doesn't need to be that because in a, in a everyday work, we're not doing that kind of nails. It's basically salon work is different. People have different expectation and they want to, and also like students, which they want to learn how to do nails. They want simple information and everything is important. Like, you know, to do a good set of nails, everything is important, Correct. starting from hygiene to going to the finish and I don't know, through all the single Right. Yep. So, so the, the, the quote unquote boring stuff, right? Like prep, you know, removing shine, pushing back cuticles, getting around the cuticles. That's all vital to a set of nails um, holding up, correct? Yeah. yeah. So, that's all basically content that you can use, um, that you can create and, and make short videos. I, I'm always saying, like, content is it's it's either good education or good entertainment you know one way or another it's it's got to be entertaining or it's got to be education some way shape or form and that's what you're saying like education is like from prepping the nail to picking up acrylic pearl to um building the body the the upper arch 
filing, yeah. all of it yeah. is good information, correct? Yeah. And so what types of videos were you making? Uh, what do you mean times? Like, 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 like what were, were they, were some prep, were some acrylic pearls? Yeah. Like, like what was yeah. the, the whole variety? Pretty much different things. It, depending what on a day I was doing, I was thinking, okay, today I'm going to just record that because that's going to be worth it to show to the people. I didn't plan much like today I'm going to do prep, tomorrow I'm going to do application, another day I'm going to do filing. I just, that day I was thinking, this is the nails which I'm doing, would be worth it to show someone, <laughs> just put a camera on. Done. Listen to me, okay? You need to do exactly what Monica did because she you are literally the everything that we talk about of what people have to do. How do you create a lot of content? You can't sit there and plan and try to think it through. Today I'm going to do a marble color acrylic design but then your client walks in the door and she doesn't want that. And the next client walks in the door and she doesn't want that. And so now you're like, I have to plan an extra hour to do this set on myself. Instead, what you did was whatever they come in with, I'm going to shoot it. That's my content. Yeah. That is what we call documenting versus creating. Document what you're doing in the course of the day versus sitting there and trying to think about what I'm going to create. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you're able to get a lot of videos. And did you ever look at the video and say, I don't like the quality of this video. Like, I, I'm not happy with it. Many times. Pretty much every time. <laughs> Pretty much every time. Like, because it wasn't like a crystal clear, like, like insane camera angle that yeah, sometimes was just a little bit not in the center what I was doing or the background wasn't great. I've left a brush on the side and I didn't yeah. like it or. But you still posted. I I'm just, this is fascinating. Like you still posted. Yes, this is, that was the fear which I needed to <laughs> break up and then just do it. <laughs> and, and, and you did. And I did and I never had any, like a bad experience with that. Right. So this is this is just there's so much good stuff here. I can't even, I can't I'm going to leave. I have to like go run and like out the window because I can't handle the amount of good information that's here right now. There wasn't anything bad that happened from so just because you didn't like it, right? Just because you didn't like okay. it, your opinion of the content, you didn't like it. Did that matter? ultimately in in the result like no. <laughs> like at all right so you would have a post you don't like the brush there or there's a towel or you can't see it or whatever all the 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 thousand judgments that you're having about your piece of content right you still posted it you didn't like it yourself you still posted it and then let's say some of them i mean got hundreds of thousands of views right isn't that interesting like you yourself didn't like it, but it got hundreds of thousands of views, which means the market loved your video. As much as you were judging it and you're like, I don't like this for X, Y, and Z, the market took it and just went yeah. crazy with it. Did that start to change? Well, of course it did. How quickly did it start to change your mind about like, okay, I may not like this, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I did have video where someone, for example, comment saying it's not in a center, you've done it wrong or something. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't put you off when you seeing the number of people who watch that and comment the, re right. the rest of the comments saying, great, thanks for this. Or, you know, this is something what I needed. I never thought about this or anything like it. So it never kind of put me off, which is very strange because I was afraid to post anything. Right. And then when it happened and a lot of people liked the content, even though you got some negative comments of maybe stuff yeah. you were thinking, right? Yeah. Like, oh, it's not in the center. You were maybe thinking that initially. And then you saw somebody say it. You're like, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter because well, people are getting something out of this. Yeah. And it's just one person for I don't know how many hundreds. So you think like, okay, he's not in the center. Next time he's going to be in the center. <laughs> right. Next time it's going to be in the center, which, which is how... That's how you do it. That's how you, you sl creating content and making, you know, quote unquote quality content, improving your content. The only way I know how to do it, and, and this is how Monica has done it too, is 
you just start and you start posting it and you put it out even though you don't like it or you think the angle sucks or you don't like the quality of the picture whatever however you're judging it you put it out and then as you go you improve upon the quality things that you want to improve that you see so like you, what you said right now is a great example next time i'll put it in the center next time i'll make it better in the meantime i'm going to post this piece of content so did you like maybe the next time was that on your mind before yes. you shot like yeah okay. you, you try to learn on your mistakes so you put it in a center making sure it's in a center <laughs> <laughs> and it's working and, and is it's it's really interesting because you would think putting the shot in the center is it's obvious right like you would think oh that's obvious i i i don't know why i didn't do that but when you're making content it gets a little insane mm. and you you don't think about those things you realize you just want to shoot the video and get it get the demo done i have to edit the video and then i have to post the video there's a thousand other things that are going around it sometimes the obvious quote unquote obvious things are not so obvious right like you don't know until you start doing it. Exactly. There's some videos, they might not be so popular, but that doesn't change anything. They're Correct. just not popular. And that's it. <laughs> Next one will be popular. <laughs> this is probably one of the most valuable podcasts that we're going to do. Okay. Because Tracy, myself, and Greg, all we've been hearing, how many times have we been hearing from people over the last week? I, I, I don't want to post because I'm scared. I don't want to post because it's going to ruin my Instagram. It's going to hurt my brand. <sighs> and and it's not, right? Like, it's just, this. simply put, what you just said is, it's next. It's the next one. I'll make it better. This is literally what we've done from day one when we started making a vlog that had nothing to do with nails. How insane is that? Like I'm, I'm making a vlog about nothing to do with nails. It wasn't obvious to me at the time though, right? Maybe to you or other people, well, how could you not make video about nails? I don't know. I just wanted to start making video and start posting stuff. So I did, you know? And then of course, six, seven videos in, oh, it needs nails, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Next, next, I'll do it. You know, I got tons of negative comments. It's the same thing. But the most important thing I think is doing it right the actual practicing Post, yeah. the process of like doing it would you agree yes definitely what would you say to somebody like if 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 they're sitting in front of you and they say look monica i know like i need help how did you do it can you give me just one piece of advice like i really want to start making videos give me one piece of advice what should i do just get yourself organized, think when you can do it, um, get your phone, record whatever needs to be recorded, download up which you need to to put it in a way you want it to do it or the time which needs to feed the Instagram. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Start doing it. Literally, those of you that have been hesitating, please do what Monica did, which is after this ends, walk over to your phone, make that video right now and then post it and then comment on this podcast comment below i just posted it put the link we're gonna go watch it we want to see what you did just for the sake of doing it it's a muscle that you have to flex on a regular basis to get used to it's got to get stronger trust me i promise you you get used to it you get used to posting it becomes normal you start to get numb to negative comments and you realize all of it is part of the process. It's continuous learning. It's just continuous learning. And it's we're still doing that today. We're still experimenting with content and putting stuff out, seeing what works, what doesn't, and we learn. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank you very much. I, <laughs> I, I really think a lot of people are going to get a ton of value out of this. I think they're going to relate to you huge and hopefully you'll go out and start posting. And with that, just want to say thank you very much for joining us. We'll thank see you. you. We'll see you next week on the biz talk.